is up as a bad sniper back at you again with another magic the gathering ranked arena video we're gonna be back in standard today with the new ban list coming out which have banned everyone's least and most favorite planeswalker in the format to fairy uh so three fairy is gone which opens up the format to a lot of new cards um we've also gotten rid of a couple of other cards uh growth spiral being one of those uh the cat is gone from cat oven uh so as you can see from our deck list a lot of these have changed a lot of the decks that i ran did have teferi in it so are unfortunately no longer playable however we have shaped up some new decks so we're going to be jumping in and i think we're going to be playing with some best friends forevers planeswalkers so we're going to be using some chandra art of fire Sarkon the Masterless, Nicole Bolas want to be using him a little bit before he rotates. Liliana Walker of the Dead, Teferi Master of Time, Narset Parter Vels. A whole lot of Planeswalkers in this deck. So, of course, we're going to be running some Inner Planet Beacons, which are also rotating in just a couple of months. Bunch of creature removal since the meta, uh, I'm assuming, is going to be a lot uh, focused over on the creature side right now. So, just a whole slew of removal for that. And some shark typhoons. Um, does have a sideboard as well for when it is needed. And I actually do want to change one thing here and actually add in a couple of Fey of Wishes. Get rid of one Liliana's Triumph, one Extinction event. Add in two Fey of Wishes. Maybe an actually one less shark typhoon. Get three Fey of Wishes in there. Just always a big fan of the Fey of Wishes in the best of one format. And we're going to be throwing a wish board. Let's see. Together. Throw that other extinction event in there. And let's also throw a Yeah, let's say you use Storm's Wrath just to save. All right. With that being said, makeshift wishboard complete. We're gonna be trying out again some best friends forever. Super friends, always a big fan of the Planeswalker decks. Here's the deck list once more. We had a three fave wisher, three eliminate, two heartless act, four thought erasure, two narset, two to fairy, master of time, three extinction event, three Liliana Walker of the Dead, three ritual of suit, two Chandra Heart of Fire, one Sark on the Master List, four Nico Bolas, two Shark Typhoon, and the Lands. Um Just a fun little deck. I don't think this is the, the top tier, but fun using three of the new M21 planeswalkers. So with that being said. Let's jump into the games. Standard Frank. Uh, I believe we started the season off with Platinum 2. So let's go back to Diamond and then on our way to Mythic together. With my friend Luca as his uh, companion, avatar, or whatever. Turn 2 Thought Erasure on the play seems pretty good. Turn 3 uh, Narset as well. Uh, Thought Erasure will hopefully help us get our lands. Playing against Red Red Win. See if it's true. A ritual of suit really helps me out once we get to turn four if we can cast it. We just need one more land. Thought is gonna probably help us get that. So I think I take up the light up stage, stop them from going all in. Or do we take the robber of the rich? Actually, I want to take the robber of the rich because I want to set up my top deck to be a land, which it now is. Perfect. 
Now, unfortunately, we're going to get hit with light and the double fervent right here. Uh, it's going to do four damage. Gonna go down to 13. We're going to be able to gain two life. Uh, one life next turn. Rather. Out of the stage. Ember. Unless it gets for each attacking creature, so it will three mana. I have practiced against many foes. I have just the trick for this. It doesn't put us in kill range yet. And he'd have to do nothing else this turn. Which is fine, I think. He's also not gonna hit me, uh Narset. So Ember Cleave's gonna do oh, he doesn't actually play the Ember. Okay. Steam Kit. Actually beautiful. Alright, so let's wipe the board. Meditate and prepare. Grab an extinction event. He's got one mystery card. Now two mystery cards in hand after his draw step. We know he had the two lions. I actually like the lions a lot. Drops down the robber of the rich. Let's see what he can grab. Would have grabbed our land, which would have been nice for us. But no. He's got five cards in his graveyard. I have two cards in mine, but that's more than enough. Either way, we're going to play Chandra. Part of the fire. Gain two life, go back up to ten. And we're going to shock Robert Rich. So in a pretty good spot right here. Uh, still at ten life. And a whole bunch of every turn. Stabilizing with our slew of planeswalkers. And there's the armor. So first game. Is and uh so we're on the draw, so the thought erasure isn't as good, but we got the lines to play everything. I think we keep this anyway. Player uh, Trium turn one. Hollow Blade turn two. So this could be um The Winota deck. Ember Cleave, Raz and Bar, raise the alarm. Raise the alarm we don't care about. Barazin's annoying for our planeswalkers. I think we get rid of the Barazin for that value play. Ritual of Soup is fine. I kinda wanna hit our lands, right? Yeah, we don't need ritual suit. If we get the Yorgo from our opponent, ready. So, both the Extinction Event and the Liliana are actually really nice here because they're not going to be exile. Uh, they're not going to be destroying this card. They're going to be exiling it. So the uh, ability doesn't actually matter. Here is one thing. Got four mana. So we're gonna try and destroy it. I'm gonna make him discard a card here. Because I can kill it next turn. Yep, that's fine. He's got mine. Okay. I just wanted them to discard that extra card, gain some value. Destroying, we exiling out here. Plays another season hollow blade off the top deck. However, homie, don't play like that. And Liliana comes down onto the board. Guess we're the hollow blade. As we and play a blood crit. It's tapped. Next turn, we'll be able to play down the Chandra. 
see what our opponent draws. We're at five life, so it would be nice if we could draw one of our beacons. Do not. Let's get rid of that card from his hand. Get rid of our mountain. And <laughs> the GG's come from our opponent. Heading into game number three. Ranger Sauce. Um, so we're missing black mana, but I think this is still a fine hand. But the Steam Vents turn one. We do have the Shark Typhoon to help us dig a little bit in the to Teferi, plus the mana to fight Teferi. Only thing we can't cast in our hand right now is that Eliminate. We do have the ability to Shark Typhoon. Cycle whenever we want now, but our opponent's not coming at us too hard or fast, so fine with just playing this Drago style. So that might also be what our opponent wants, right? Try and lay down our first to fairy, see if we have counter spells. We have another one, so it's not a big deal. And we also actually want the Nico Bolas to resolve. Doesn't seem like the type of deck where we're gonna need eliminate. Maybe I'm wrong. He is cycling for zero. That's actually a good sign for us. We do have double land in hand. I do want to keep hitting our land drops. Our set's fine. We're gonna drop Nico Bolas onto the field. Kill that. Our set. Uh, so our opponent has not drawn the land. Oh, we only have two blocks. We're gonna eliminate the Narsa. I must train hard. Now draw with all our Teferi. Discard our Ritual of Suit. Again, this doesn't seem like a game where we'll be needing that. Bone Crusher Giant hard cast onto the battlefield. Opponent again did unfortunately for them not draw a land. Again on a shark type one. Just to get a blocker for a Teferi. Take our opponent. Exile card from their hand. They get rid of a Deafening Clarion. No weakness I cannot exploit. Plus up to Fairy. He is up to eight. No attacks because we want our blocker. Our opponent needs to draw that land right now. And I guess they did not, so GG's. Alright, here we go. Back in it and we're on the draw. You have three lands. Two away from Sarkon. Don't have the lands for either of these cards, but like if I mulliganed this, this is the mulligan I got minus one of these. I keep that. Able passage is actually really nice. Now the question is, do we live to the rituals? <laughs> Being on the... Being on the draw instead of the play actually hurts us in this matchup pretty big time. Extinction Event Odd actually just wipes his entire board and doesn't give us the Annex. Um, no, I think I think we still have to just uh, one, two, five, six, seven, pick them off here. We kill Annex. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn, we have Ritual of Suit by this board. Question is, what is that one card in his hand? A 
little bit of life gain coming back with the beacon. So we'll see if we can get there. He plays nothing. Alright, bring out our Sarkon, gain that life. Make a defender in case he gets something with haste. <laughs> Magnificent! We're gonna gain another life, go up to seven. Alright, and GG's. Weathered the storm. On the draw, we got three lands. Pretty nice setup here. Hector Barboza. Looks like we're playing against a red deck that is out here trying to win. So. I'm getting rid of that steam again before it goes ham. I'll take the two from the Scorch Splitter again next turn. Extinction Event and Ritual of Suit looking really nice here in the coming turns. And then we have our suite of Planeswalkers backing that up. If our opponent has nothing, good castle. We're down to 12. Annex. The extinction event for Odd is about to be fantastic. And no tokens since they're exiled instead of uh, sent to the graveyard. Looks like he doesn't have another card to play, so we're, I don't want to lose life points, so I'm fine with just playing it out like this. Bringing down Liliana. If we can get Liliana to her ultimate, that just wins the game. I don't think the the Teferi is necessary here. Ruining or my fifth, uh, my sixth land. We already have the five lands. We have all the lands that we need. We're going to make our opponent start discarding. And start building up our Liliana. You think too much. It's interesting that they didn't use that earlier. Bone Crusher's me down to ten. Please is Bone Crusher. And pass his turn. So the beacon comes down, which is really big for us. Make us both discard a card. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the bone pressure joint. Liliana's one turn away from being at ultimate. Her ultimate just gonna like uh, win the game on the spot, pretty much in this situation. Our opponent only at three lands. We're at eleven health. We're in a pretty good spot. Uh, we're healthy enough where the red deck doesn't immediately threaten us, and we do have a ritual of suit if he gets a couple of cards out really quickly. So it's looking like uh, this is our fifth win in a row. So that's pretty cool. But game's definitely not over yet. Next turn, plus Liliana, discard whatever we draw, plus Nico Bolas. If he, he brings down a threat, we ritual of suit it. Like if Liliana goes to ultimate, game's pretty much over. He's... That was weird. Uh, he's changing his dog. Yeah, I think this one's over. Just kind of rope in it. Because he's there, because he actually just changed his dog's uh I will return one day. Guess he was deciding what to do. So there goes the last card in his hand. Bone crusher and me. You think too much. And we're gonna pass turn with Liliana at seven. He can play his bone pressure, like that's fine. And here we go. We're gonna start getting 
consider this graveyard my barracks. Some Liliana. First time popping the Liliana ultimate. And against a pretty good deck to pop it on. There's the GG's. Liliana gets us there. Alright. Here we go with what will be the last game of the set that we're going to be doing. So we're going to keep this and see if we can get a perfect set here. I like the hand so far. Eliminate if we're playing against an early aggressive deck. Be nice. Gutter bones. Alright, so it looks like it might be the mono black. Uh not interested in eliminating a gutter bone, so I'll take two here. I think he's got the demon in his hand. The four mana, but you can play him for three if you do damage to me. Yeah, he doesn't play anything there, so. I'm liking the odds that I just picked. This isn't my first time being the hero. Plants. Start building up our chip berry. If he taps out for one card, we can extinction about him. Drops his rainbow. Not letting that happen. Try and make a 3-3 shark. I'm sure he's got a kill spell. Fine. Question, does it have to do damage to a player? Yeah, that's fine. As long as Rankle doesn't hit me, then the fairy did his job here. Back's gonna hurt tomorrow. Is he even? He can't hit me as gutter bones is useless. He'll have any amazing answers to a Bolas. Maybe a Gutter Bones. Uh, not a Gutter, another Rankle. I doubt they run. Oh, he does have another rank. Question is, does he hit me or Narset? Let's go for me. Gonna be able to activate that. Sure. Player discards a card. Rid of our plan. And, and yeah. Ritual of Suit actually doesn't either. The thoughtfulness before action. Liliana, on the other hand. <laughs> Ruining your day is going to feel great. We get rid of the rankle. If it hurts too much. I'll be able to get his gutter bones back. Um, but I think he has to get rid of one of my planeswalkers. He's contemplating not doing it. Yeah, he's just gonna go at me. Alright. We can't castle because of Narsa. Oh, that's fine.
question is, do we Nico boss or do we Sarkon? I think we Sarkon first. Gain some life, take a four blocker. He's gonna have to top deck a spell for this dragon. Come to me. Castle. So he's gonna need to draw a removal spell for my dragon. Let's see if he's got it. Can't draw another card because of the Narset existing. He can attack with Gutter Bones because Sarkon, as long as I have a dragon, will stop that. He can attack with Mobile's District and his spawn of Mayhem. So he's going to have to swing with both creatures. But I can trade with the dragon and I gladly will. Gutter Bones gets destroyed if he attacks. Sarkon, I will protect. Mobile's District coming at me, I don't give a shit. Should have read this one. <laughs> Come on. Probably should have read this one. Uh, what I will consume you. Okay, so we protect the Sarkon with our dragon. Drop Nico Bolas next turn. Make another dragon with the Bolas. And we gladly take uh, three to the Liliana. Not even three in May. To the skies. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Oh, that's ironic. Uh, yeah, you know, we're just gonna start gutter bones. Is there not creatures anymore? I guess. Yeah. Uh, he can draw another card. Mobilize district and kill our Narset. That's fine. Listen to them roar. The dragon does not lose. Better reassure you first. Extinction event doesn't actually do anything for me. Start exiling your cards. Heartless deck is actually perfect. And say go. So we're in a pretty good spot now where we can just keep slowly taking up with our Eagle Bolas. The castle is definitely annoying, but the end of the world. See where he sends it. Has to be a full loss, right? Heartless act. And we have double ritual of suit if he's somehow able to get something. Yeah, this is worth it. I'm trying to think about that. It's Nico Boss. Two ticks higher in our win condition here. At this point, is going to be Nico Boss. Makes an exile another land. <laughs> you have no and he's one step farther. He can only do the castle so many more times. Due to his life total. Knight is fine with the ritual suits that we've been kinda just waiting on. This one, gonna sack a land. We're gonna suit. He might scoop at this point. Castle, draws a guard. Tap and pass. We have another suit in hand. So we're in a pretty good spot. GG's. All right. Pretty fun. Uh, I think the deck has been running pretty smoothly for the most part. We had a nice 5 0. I think that was five games, right? 5 0 set. Um, 
The Fae of Wishes blocking actually came in handy pretty well. I would need to, I think, update this. I didn't really get too much use out of the wish board. Um, I didn't really set up the wish board. I just kind of half-assed it towards the end. But definitely enjoying it right now. It's fun to use the cards. Uh, Sarkon doesn't really see much play. Sarkon put a lot of pressure on in that last game, saving our life total because he had to keep reacting to that. I also slightly misplayed in that game towards the end um, because I didn't realize that um, they are no longer Planeswalkers once you use the Sarkon on them. So I couldn't copy... Like, what I wanted to do was copy the Sarkons minus three and make a dragon token with our Nicol Bolas, which would have then protected our Sarkon on the following turn. Uh, so the game dragged out for a couple more turns thanks to that misplay, but that's something I know now for the future. But just fun to use some Planeswalkers that haven't seen much play like Sarkon the Masterless since he... Make sure Planeswalker is really susceptible to kill spells, but just a fun Planeswalker. Nico Bolas is always a fun thematic deck with the Grixis Super Friends, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, deck list will be in the about me, uh, the comments below, I guess. Uh, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you guys at the next video. Um, figure out we'll do something new for the next one so with that being said thank you for watching peace